I just saw the Samsung Galaxy Ring at MWC for the first time. I got to look at it, touch it, and wear it, and compare it to my Oura Ring. Let's dig in. So before we start, Samsung teased the Galaxy Ring at the end of Unpacked after unveiling the Galaxy S24. At the time, we only got one photo and not a lot of details. But now Samsung is ready to show it off at MWC under glass, though we did get an exclusive look at it in person. Keep in mind though that this is still a prototype and a lot of details haven't been ironed out. So we don't have exact specs, features, and details about the Samsung Ring, but since I was able to wear it, here is our initial comparison between the two rings. As far as we know, the Samsung Galaxy Ring comes in one design that's very similar to a wedding band and very similar to the Oura Ring Horizon. Oura offers another design, the Heritage design. The ring is made mostly of plastic with metal or gold coating on the outside and sensors on the inside. There are three sensor bumps similar to the Oura Ring, but the Galaxy Ring uh, has sensors that are much smaller than the Ouras. And I noticed that they dig into my finger a lot less when I'm wearing it, so they're a lot more comfortable to wear for a long period of time. We've only seen the Samsung Galaxy Ring in three different colors, gold, silver, and black all with a shiny finish. We don't know if there's gonna be a matte finish later down the road, but that's something that Samsung could potentially announce when it makes the ring official. The Galaxy ring sizes start from seven to 13, very similar to Oura's size. I wear a size 12 on my middle finger and a size 10 on my ring finger. And I tried both of those with the Galaxy ring and they both fit the same way. Since we don't have the exact dimensions and I didn't have a caliper or weight scale with me, all I had to go by were my impressions. And the ring felt a little bit lighter in my hand compared to the Oura ring. Also, it felt a fraction of a millimeter thinner and narrower. The biggest difference with the Samsung Galaxy ring is that the outer design is concave and not convex like the Oura ring. And that gives it three benefits. For one, it reflects lights a little better than the Oura Ring and that makes it look a little sleeker and more elegant. Two, it should scratch less because the outside is less exposed. And three, when I wore it, it felt more comfortable and fit better because my other fingers could rest into it. The only concern I had was that the sides of the ring would dig into my fingers, but they're rounded enough that I didn't feel that. Beyond the physical design, I want to discuss one major advantage for each of the two rings. The Oura Ring is compatible with Android and iPhone, but the Samsung Ring looks like it will only be compatible with Android, in general, not just Samsung phones. The Galaxy Ring, on the other hand, has the benefit of Samsung's ecosystem, and it works in tandem with the Samsung Galaxy Watch. So you can wear the watch during the day for precise activity tracking, notifications, and apps, and at night, when you don't want to wear a watch on your wrist while sleeping, you can switch to the Ring, and the data from both devices will be synchronized into the Samsung Health app. In terms of battery life, we don't have exact numbers, but we were told that it should go beyond a couple of days. The Oura Ring goes between six to seven days on a chart. The Samsung Galaxy Ring will also track your sleep with heart rate, respiratory rate, sleep latency, and night movement, which is very similar to the Oura Ring. And it'll provide one vitality score for physical and mental readiness, which is based on sleep, activity, resting heart rate, and heart rate variability. But Oura divides its metrics into three different scores for sleep, activity, and readiness. It also supports female health tracking in partnership with Natural Cycles, which is, again, very similar to Oura. For now, it seems that Oura will be able to also measure your blood oxygen, stress, and resilience. These are three features that might or might not come to the Samsung Galaxy Ring when it's officially announced. Our first impressions with the Samsung Galaxy Ring are very positive. It looks good, it looks sleek and elegant, and it was very comfortable to wear. However, we're fairly certain that the Galaxy Ring won't be compatible with the iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, the decision seems pretty made for you. Whereas if you have an Android phone or you're very much into the Samsung ecosystem, this can be a seamless transition for you. At this moment, the Samsung Galaxy Ring sounds promising, but what do you think? Would you pick it up or would you lean towards the Oura Ring? 